Uh, well, I guess to start with is the timing. Uh, I'm definitely an advocate of right before the month starts, um, take a look at what your expected exp expenses are, take a look at what your uh, last month expenses have been. Now, when you mean allocations, you mean like specific recommendations yeah. for what you're spending? Okay, well, the big one from my perspective, I think I mentioned is 25% for housing and, and I would imagine for most people that's going to be your largest expense in a given month. Um, I tend to be a bit of an anomaly for food. I think we, gosh, I have to, uh, I'm going to say somewhere between 5% and like 7%-ish and that, and that might even be high for what, for what we do. But I don't think it needs to be much, much more than that as far as your grocery bill and stuff is concerned for, for your daily. Um, transportation is concerned, as I think I've kind of alluded to, hopefully you're not paying for your vehicle like via debt or anything like that. So my answer as far as paying off a car would be zero. And if you're not, put that in that, that debt category that we're talking about to get it paid off as quickly as you possibly can. Um, but as far as public transportation, things like that, it, sh it again should be in that like 5%-ish or less range. Uh, I, I also put clothes in that same category. Again, I tend to not spend a lot on clothes at all. So I, I guess somebody just can't, <laughs> can't, can't stick to that. Maybe that's one that you could amp up for, for some free spending. Um, and then entertainment, the recommendation I think as well is, is probably around 10%. And that's one where I, I probably don't spend 10% of my total allocated budget to that. But, um, but that's generally what I read being a recommendation. Um, gosh, I'm trying to think of what other major cat, I think I've hit, I keep mine very simple. So I don't have a, a ton of categories that other people may have. And something else is um, like insurance. So if you have like life insurance or uh, uh, disability insurance, different, different things like that. Ours is, ours happens to be a fraction of our total budget, but um, maybe going the other way with those, make sure you have, uh, some sort of life coverage. And my recommendation is at least 10 times what your average income is, your annual income is. Um, and something else, uh, this is a little off topic, but in the people I've been talking to lately, I've been surprised that they don't have a will or anything like that ready to go. And, and these are people with kids. Um, so again, the budget for that, I won't generally put in what an allocation would be. It shouldn't be that expensive. Like in the US, it cost me about $500 to do um, my living will. And, you know, saying like, if, if something would happen to me and my wife, this is who would get the kids, that, that kind of stuff. Um, and, and I think you can do it online for significantly less, like half of that. Um, so anyway, I just want to put a shout out for that because I, like I said, I've been surprised at the number of people that have kids that actually don't have that stuff in order. Uh, and then one other thing, of course, that's unique for America is your health insurance. Most people have it through their employer. So you basically are paying in uh, already. So it's not necessarily a cost that you have to deal with. But um, hopefully, if you are buying it separately, uh, it's not going to be much more than like 15% of your total income. Um, and again, that also hits that risk tolerance that we're talking about. You could buy a policy that, that falls into your budget, but if it's keeping you up at night because you're afraid you're going to have to go to the doctor and you're paying this crazy amount because you, you don't have much coverage, that's not worth it. See if you can amp it up a little bit more um, depending on what your, your totals are. So hopefully that gives some, some ballparks of what people should be looking at. But again, the, the one, it's that housing one, in my opinion, that that's the biggest. Don't go crazy on how much you're spending on your house. And I think people tend to do that a lot. Thank you.